Hello, my dear Yogi friends. Nice to see you here on our mats with my babies who are a little bit busy today. <laughs> I'm chasing the strangers. <laughs> anyway, I figured today would be a very good weather to share with you a hip opening flow because I think tomorrow we'll have rain, so I won't have the opportunity of doing such a beautiful outdoor yoga. And I would like to share this beautiful yoga flow with you. So today we are primarily targeting our hips. We will have a lot of the poses that are targeting the hip, hip openers. So it would be really good for those of you who sit at your desk for a prolonged time, or you did some hiking and swimming and you know, jogging, so you need a little bit of stretch on your lower body will be good and beneficial for you. And I hope you enjoy with us. Mm. I hope the sun stays there because it's a little bit cloudy before and now it's perfect. All right, so let's meet ourselves on laying on our mat face up. See you there. Now we are laying on our back. Just lengthen your arms in front of your head and reach your legs all the way behind you. Lengthen your spine, lengthen your body. Take a big inhale and exhale here. Just feel the lengthening and spaces you're creating just by doing this simple stretch movement. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, relax. When you next exhale, bring your right knee into your chest and arms around your right knee. Bring it as close as possible into your chest while keeping your left sit bones grounded on the floor so you don't curl in your left leg and make sure that your left hip flexor muscles are extended and pointing the right knee towards the right side open your right hip towards the right side open up towards the sky and you can also place your right hand inside of your right knee to press it open but make sure that your left side is still grounded on the floor so you are not like flipping over to the right you're still laying on your back just opening your right hip. Feel the sensations you're creating here in your right hip area, the spaces you're creating, bringing the oxygen in that part. And we take a big inhale. Exhale, we will cross our right leg all the way of our body to bring it on the left side of the mat, twisting. Right shoulders grounded on the floor. Inhale, come back to center and lengthen the right leg out. Bring the left knee in. We'll do it on this side of the body. Bring the right knee, uh, left knee as close as possible to your body. And just open up the left side. Left knee pointing towards the left side. Open the left hip up. Right sit bones grounded on the floor. And a big inhale and exhale here. And then cross your legs all the way over to the other side with twist. Mm. Mm. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees. Just come to lay on our belly. Face down, crocodile. Fold your forearms one on top of each other and bring your forehead on top of your forearms. 
legs extended out and back of the feet resting on the mat, crocodile. Press the into the mat, press your belly button into the mat, feel like your your entire abdominals are kissing the mat. So from here lift your head and balance on your right forearm and we will bring the left knee 90 degrees perpendicular to the uh, long side of the mat and bring down your uh, pubic bone into the mat. You can stay here with the forehead rested on the arms or we'll just come into a mini cobra of your upper body while maintaining the legs as they are. The hands closer, if the, the hands can be far away or closer to your body. So the more closer they are, the more intense the stretches are on your left hip. So press down through your left hip down to the mat. Feel the melting. Try to engage both sides. Don't dip your weight on the onto the right. And come down. Meet the right leg with the left. We'll come to crocodile once again. But for those of you who feel this is too intense, you can stay in this variated crocodile, like just to bring the right leg out 90 degrees and hips down into the mat. You will just stay here in this gentle version of frog, half frog, or you can just do how we just did, press your upper body up. Feel a little bit more intense on the lower back and a little bit more opening on your right hip. And bring yourself down. Bring the right leg to meet the left. Rest your forehead here. Relax the mouth. Melt your body down into the mat, hands at um, on the side of your ribs and press yourself, elbows together and press yourself into a cobra or high cobra. And hips back to meet the heels, come into a child's pose. Ooh, the counter pose of those back bends, very nourishing. Opening up your lower back and bringing the oxygen into the body. We we'll come to all fours, a few rounds of cat and cows to mobilize the spine. Oh, do any versions as you wish, as your body feels like. You can wag your tail side to side, like a doggy, or like angry cat, like cow, circling your hips around, come to cross circling your hips. So this kind of organic movement of your spine, it doesn't really care how you do it, as long as you feel good. <sighs> From here, come into a still, still tabletop. Reach out your right foot all the way back. Hands firmly pressing into the mat, core strong. And here, take a big inhale, sway the leg all the way to the side. Bring the right feet down, right foot down. Even the pinky edge of the toes are pressing through the floor and move your body, walk your body to the left side until your left hand is parallel in with your knee. And we come into a side plank, right side stretch. 
right fingertips are pointing all the way to the left side of the room. Open your chest up, gaze up, and lift yourself for gate pose. Side stretch on the left side. And bring your hand down. Once again, lift, this time lift your right leg up. I'm pointing your right hand all the way towards the sky. If you feel like so, you can also bend the right knee and reach your right foot with your right hand. Open your hips forward. Keep the knees parallel with the floor. Oh, really sweet. Release. And we come back into a tabletop. However, you want to go back there, we meet us in tabletop. Half your rounds of mobilizing the spine, release any tensions. We'll come to the other side. So this time, lift the left leg parallel to the mat, phrasing a one long line energy between the left toes to the crown of the head. Inhale, sway the left foot all the way parallel to the right knee. Actually, I had a little bit of muscle cramp <laughs> when I do this way. It's normal, just release and come back to it. So press down through the left foot and walk your hands to the right. We come into a side plank. Reach your left hand all the way towards the right side of the room. Open your chest, push the hips forward. A little bit of back bend as well. And lift yourself with the core strength into a gate pose. Side stretch on the right. And sway yourself all the way down to lift your left leg up. You can try to reach your left foot with your right hand, left hand. Otherwise, stay in that side plank. Push the hips forward. Keep the knees elevated. And release. Come back to tabletop. Release any tensions from those poses. Now tuck the toes, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Walk out your dogs a little bit. Release any tensions on the back side of the legs. Push the chest into the thighs and shoulder blades pinch together away, shoulders away from the ears. And we walk slowly, inhale into the front of our mat, coming to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold and bend the knees, lift yourself up. Inhale, arms up, little slight back bend, arms together, hands together, at heart center. Mm. All right, so even though the sun is hidden behind the clouds, I would still like to salute to it. <laughs> I want it out. It's getting chilly without the sun. So big inhale, hands, arms up. And exhale, cactus the arms and open your collarbones, your chest towards the sky. Slightly back, um, bend the knees and inhale, arms up, exhale, cactus. Two more times, inhale, exhale, cactus, inhale, exhale, cactus, open. One last inhale, exhale, dive down to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, feet back, high plank. Inhale here, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, high cobra. Exhale, push back into downward facing dog. 
stainless downward facing dog and big inhale lift the right foot up bend the right knee open the right hip towards the, the right side exhale square off the hips and bring the knee into the nose inhale once again three leg open the knee exhale bring it bring the right foot in between the hands come into a high lunge keep the left knee micro bent to keep the balance and shoulders away from the ears as always lengthen your neck inhale here exhale warrior two come to the left side face the left side inhale here exhale reverse inhale here exhale bring it all the way to side angle right arm rests on the right knee very strong core inhale reverse exhale come back to warrior two lengthen the right knee pointing the right toes to face the same direction as your left and toes in heels out hands at hips bent at hips wide leg forward fold <sighs> Sway side to side. Hands wherever is comfortable for you. You can place the hands right beneath the gaze or behind you or on top of your ankles like I do. Anyway, if you're comfortable with. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we come into a forward and we come to face the back of our mat pivoting both toes forward come into a runner's lunge lengthening your right knee and lifting the knee right kneecap right leg strong the long gaze forward inhale here exhale bring the left foot to meet the right and chaturanga inhale high cobra Push back into downward facing dog. We'll do it on the other side. Inhale the left leg up. Open the left knee. Open, 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 open. But don't dip your weight totally onto your right hand. Still try to maintain the balance between your both hands. And square off the hips. Exhale, bring knee to nose. Inhale, open up again. Exhale, bring the left foot in between the hands. High lunge. Micro bend the right knee. Keep the balance. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse warrior. And side angle. Keep your breath uh, flowing. Let the breath initiate the moves. You feel much better. Inhale. Come back to reverse and extend the left leg. Face uh, face the left toes to the direction of the camera, whatever. Like wide leg forward, forward. Hands at the hips. Tuck the belly button in and we hinge at hips. Come down. Bring the crown of the head down, pointing towards the, sky, uh, towards the mat. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, we come to face the front of our mat, come into a runner's lunge once again. There is jump back leg, like you are going to burst into a running competition. Both hands firmly on the mat, inhale here, and exhale, bring the right foot to meet the left, 
inhale high plank exhale chaturanga or knees chest chin i'm gonna bring my knees down this time to stay in this high cobra a little bit more and push back into a downward facing dog <sighs> Slowly walk your feet to meet with your hands. Come into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward deeper. And bend the knees gently. Lift yourself up. Hands up. Inhale here. Exhale, bring hands at heart center. We come into the middle of our mat. So a little bit more of hip opening in a standing pose. So this is like how we did when we were starting our flow, when we were laying down, it's similar. So inhale, balance on your left foot to bring the right knee into the chest. It's like we're just doing it standing. So we also challenge our core and balance little bit bring the right knee as close as close as possible to your chest rotation a little bit of rotation on your ankles and bring the right knee to the side use your right hand to support left hand on your hip for a little bit of balancing <coughs> Yeah, my dogs are like chasing the repair workers today. And then gently place the right foot on the inside of your left side. Pinch, uh, press down even the pinky edge of the right pinky toe into the side and open the knee to the side. Pablito, it's hard to keep balance, like you have to train the dogs to shut up. Inhale here, inhale, lift arms up like a volcano. Exhale, hands at heart center. So by pressing into the pinky toe into the side, it helps the outer rotation motion of the knee. And release. Just shake a little bit your legs. We come to the other side. Come to balance on your right and lift the left knee into the chest. Shoulders back, neck long. Rotation on the ankles. And bring the knee to the side. Try to maintain your body your frontier of your body in the opening sense and place the left foot onto your right inner side for three pose hands at the piano lift up knees flare out pablito hands together and heart center and bring foot down release we come to sit on our mat. So we sit in the center of our mat with the knees a little bit in front of us and a bit wider. Feet down, hands behind us, behind our hips for support. So lean back a little bit. Wind should wiper the knees side to side. <laughs> Try to bring the right knee to kiss the floor and left as well every time when you shift and turn and rotate. There's some construction workers on the other side of the rooftop. So they're like barking. And then when you turn to the right, Shift your, uh, rotate your body to all the way, face the back. A bit of twist. Nini. Pablito. Pablito. Shh. 
gaze back, twist the body, we come up to center, and do it to the other side. Hmm. Pablito. Now we come back to center. Cross legs, sit in the middle of the mat. Cross your legs in easy sitting position. We will finish our flow today with a diaphragmatic breath. It's a pr uh, pranayama breath work. So it helps you to cool down your nervous system and activating your parasympathetic nerve system which helps you relax and wind down. It is a very good breast work and it's highly encouraged to do it like a few minutes every day. I mean, I don't do it like every day, but it is really good because it's a deep breathing. Let the air go all the way into your belly and then let it out so it's like also a cleansing of energy inside of you. Let's just do it together today, shall we? Place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, so that you feel the movement of your um, belly movement when the air comes in and out. So this diaphragm is in between our belly and our chest, and it's helping the um, the it's like a sponge. When the air goes in, it expands. When the air goes out, it kind of like contracts. So it's, it's, it's a very essential um, body part to connect our lower, lower part, um, upper chest and the lower, lower chest, um, upper, upper, upper body and lower upper body. <laughs> anyway, so just Keep the hands on chest and belly. We come in through the nostril. Take a big inhale. Feel the air filling into your belly, into your lower chest, upper chest, filling your throat. And exhale out through the throat, chest, and belly. Let the belly button go into your spine, like just imagine it. Your hands on your belly to feel this movement. So deep, deep in breath, breath in through the nostril. Air into the belly, into the chest, into the throat, out through the throat, out through the throat, the chest, the belly. If, uh, we'll do five more rounds at your own pace. Inhale, belly, chest, throat, out through throat, chest, belly. In, out. In, out. And your last exhalation, let the breath, let the air totally out of your system. And rest your hands on top of your knees. Come back into a normal breathing. You feel the deep breathing work, like how it cleans your body, helps you relax even relax the muscles. Blink your, uh, blink your eyes open. I mean, I suppose they're closed. Sorry, I forgot to cue you for closing your eyes. 
Thank you so much for being with us today in this beautiful flow. I hope it helps you release the tensions in your lower body, in your hip area. And I also hope, wish that the last breath work helps you totally relax your whole system, both muscles and uh, the nervous system. And I hope that you as always enjoyed doing this flows with me and I see you in the next flow. Adios, hasta luego. <laughs>